about three million pounds in picture sales from Friends and Heroes 2 go to Johnny Depp, via the sale of his Friends and Heroes 2 collection of silkscreen prints of people he admires through a London gallery, Johnny Depp made $2,925,000, he painted by hand portraits of Hunter S. Thompson, Bob Marley, River Phoenix, and Heath Ledger, the hero of Pirates of the Caribbean sold all 780 prints, each at £3,750. Castle Fine Art is still selling a framed collection of the actor's four portraits for £14,583.33, available from Castle Fine Art for £14,583.33. These new additions to his friends and heroes collection from the renowned actor, musician, and artist are again artistically daring and profoundly individual and see Depp portray persons he has known well or who have inspired him as a person," said the reviewer. Each image is a personal portrayal of their personality as seen through Johnny's eyes. It shows how they have revealed themselves to him, either directly or via their art reads the collection's summary on the Castle Fine Art website. Phoenix, Ledger, and Thompson were all close friends and co-workers of Depp's in the motion picture business. He never met Bob Marley, but he has long admired the singer for his sage advice. Marley, along with Bob Dylan, is one of the two great prophets of his generation, in his opinion. These four individuals are the group I want to see. It would be interesting. Absolutely all legends. In an interview with Castle Fine Art, the actor stated, the early deaths of Heath and River are tragedies. They didn't have enough time on this planet but they made the most of it by establishing their personalities, uniqueness, worldviews, hearts, emotions, and senses of humor in the public domain so that we might get to know them. So, they had a lot to say in their brief lifetimes. Hunter, of course, lived a little bit longer on the world than some of those individuals, and his voice will always live through his writings, just as Heath and River will always live through their films, and Bob through his music, the author said. Speaking on his love of the arts, Depp revealed that he spent many years restricting himself to the movie industry even though, at his core, he has always been a musician, never failed to find solace in a piece of blank paper, whether it be writing, drawing, or painting a blank canvas. The 59-year-old made the casual decision to share his artwork with the world, reasoning that if people like it, that's fine, and if not, that's all right too. Yet when he launched his first Friends and Heroes collection, he was pleasantly delighted to get generally favorable feedback. He stated, it is quite moving to observe people's reactions to my creations when they are actually seeing them for the first time. I'm happy they're curious. According to People, his first Friends and Heroes collection, which was issued in July 2022, sold for more than $3.6 million. It featured images of Elizabeth Taylor, Al Pacino, Keith Richards, and Bob Dylan. He noted that there was something kind of lyrical when he first viewed the portraits shown at Castle Fine Art. For the first time, he felt the bond between them all, and the feeling was a lot stronger than he had anticipated. After that, Depp said he was looking forward to releasing Friends and Heroes 2 as a means to express his gratitude to individuals who had come to be a part of his life. Simply for me to be able to thank all those people for either being in my life, being a part of my life, or having touched me to the extent that they have, he said.